On a remote farm in Canada's wilderness, some of the best drummers on the planet got together for a drum camp to share their knowledge with 40 students. But what they discovered was something more. The first drum, guess what it is? A heartbeat. That's the first drum, and that's what this camp is all about. We're gonna open up with a young man who's got the fastest hands in the world. One, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one. What a wonderful opportunity for us as musicians to be able to create our own artistic expression, our own story. I think the drum unites us at a very visceral level. When you approach this instrument for the first time, what comes out of you is what you hear and what you feel. For me, it was like, you do it or you die. I'm going to do this or just die. This instrument is a very demanding instrument, and it's got languages. We're giving them the courage to say, I can do this too. With all the rhythmic components, dynamic components, melodic components, tonal components, mathematical components, it's all exciting and a serious challenge. It gives me great honor to introduce the greatest Latin drummer on the planet. It was an amazing surprise. Dizzy is the common denominator here. After touring the world, I felt it'd be cool to live a simpler life. And now I'm a teacher. Horacio's sleeping in the room right next to me. Mike Mangini's sleeping over here. Downstairs from me is Dennis Chambers, and I've got Giovanni in the building right next door. I think I died, and I'm in drum heaven. As soon as I hit the first hit, I became someone else. Something about it interacts with the heart, and it makes you want to move. It was the best day of my life. It's important that the students know you are on a journey. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs>